Let's see how that feels. Nice. Whoa. Mr. C, Wonder Time Hotline, how may I help you? Oh, hi, Jackie. What's up? Yep. I'll bring the stick up when we visit. Oh, that's a great idea. She would be perfect for this. Yep. We'll get it recorded and post it online so you and the whole team can watch it. All right. See you later. Bye. That was Jackie, who happens to be my daughter and a goalie at Youngstown State University. She plays on the women's lacrosse team, and she knows best that when she gets hurt or someone else on the team gets hurt, she has a person she goes to. And she was wondering, hmm. could we interview her athletic trainer, Jen Timkew, to see all the work she does behind the scenes? I think that's a great idea, don't you? Yeah. Let's go check it out. My name is Jen Timkew. I am the Associate Athletic Director for Sports Medicine and the Director of Athletic Training Services at Youngstown State University. Kinesiology is the study of human movement. So uh, during my entire undergrad career, worked on things like anatomy and exercise phys and started with some of the basics, the chemistry and the physics and things like that, but then worked took those as the base level and then worked on what that looks like to put human movement together. Um, so all of that base formation then turned into more of the exercise phys, um, more of the advanced anatomy, and not only knowing the anatomy, but then how does the anatomy work to function um, and make human beings do the fun things they do, like sports. So my job is twofold here. Um, not only do I work primarily with our women's lacrosse team, so taking care of their injuries and illnesses, um, both on an acute and immediate uh, area, but also working on some of the preventative areas um, of their care. Because the important part of athletic training is, yes, we're there for those things that happen right away, but how do we mitigate some of that risk and try to take that risk out of the situations that they're in. So getting them into programming and exercises and rehabs and things like that that really help try to give them the balance and the proprioception and the strength, all of those things that kinesiology gave me that understanding for of how humans move, then we incorporate that into their preventative programming and give them a better successful experience and hopefully mitigate the times that they're out of participation or out of sports so that they can continue to compete and be successful. With a sport specific to lacrosse, they do a lot of cutting and landing. So most people don't realize that when you're running, you're always on one leg at a time. So being able to land on one leg and being able to make a dynamic movement one way or another is really key to their sport. So we do a lot of things that focus on not only one-legged strength, but we do landing training so that they can get used to landing double leg, then landing single leg, then landing single leg on an unstable surface so that if they do get hit by an opponent or the ball comes out of their stick, things like that, that they're used to having that altered mechanism. So we try to take the things that they do on the field and put them in a more controlled environment, um, really develop their body, their muscles in that area, and then continue to progress them so that they're really strong on the field. Equipment's a big key for us, both in the prevention and the treatment and the recovery. So even we'll see some student athletes that don't necessarily have a specific injury that still come in and receive care and services from us because it's their overall wellness that we're looking for. So uh, for instance, we have recovery boots. Um, these are things that, uh, they're pneumatic compression devices. So the student athletes will zip themselves up into the boots and there's sequential compression that comes through them. And that really helps with blood flow and lymphatic drainage um, and helps the delayed onset uh, muscle soreness that often comes from heavy overloaded activity, whether it be a heavy weight uh, session, a game, even practices, they'll come in and do some of those recovery boot session areas there. Very often, someone won't come in and just 
sit on a table and get some treatment, they will often have some exercises or stretches or things like that that they need to do as well because that's what we're getting them ready for. So it's really important that they incorporate that while we're in here and we try to make this room as close to what they're getting ready to do as possible. Healthcare is interesting because it's not always good, right? Do you know what I mean? We certainly see some of the hardest days of people's lives as well. Like, man, you just tore a major ligament and now need surgery that's going to hold you out of the thing that you love for nine months. And I was the one that told you that that happened. Or, man, you're really struggling with this outside mental health issue and we need to do some things to address that because of the areas that's affecting in your life. So, yeah, there's also a lot of aspects that can be really hard, um, but also really satisfying at the same time because if you can help progress somebody through that really difficult moment of their life, that's really rewarding. My name is Callie Baudry. I am a junior attacker on the women's lacrosse team. My time in college, I've experienced two ACL surgeries and I had one previous um, in high school. And the team here has been super helpful, super beneficial throughout my whole rehab. Um, and they're honestly the reason that I'm still able to continue playing lacrosse. Jen plays a physical role in rehab, but also a very large mental role. Um, she's someone who honestly, genuinely like, cares how you are doing. Every morning she comes in and she gives you what exercises you'll be doing. She monitors you. Um, and then throughout that recovery, there's, she has different checkpoints. So if you don't meet those checkpoints, we work extra hard to then get you back on track. Um, my first rehab was extremely hard. I tore my ACL as well as many other ligaments in my leg. So it took a much longer time. Um, so with Jen, uh, the estimated recovery was about 12 and a half months and Jen got me back on the field within nine. Um, she just really makes sure that like, your muscles feel well, but like you're also feeling well, safe, comfortable. Um, so I definitely wouldn't be, wouldn't have been able to get back to the field at the beginning of this season. Definitely wouldn't be where I am right now. So a typical day for me looks like coming in and per first providing health care to the women's lacrosse team. We have practices in the morning. So uh, the women will come in into the athletic training room and prepare for practice, uh, whether that means completing their rehab, getting any sort of treatment that they need prior to getting ready. Um, I'll go out to practice with them. So I'm at all of their practices, games, competitions, um, those kind of areas. Anything that they do that's active, I'm around for that. Um, so we'll typically be on the field for about two hours of practice and then come in and do any post-practice treatments that are needed. So anything that happened during practice that day, then manage from there. Um, that's typically the majority of my mornings is uh, spent providing their health care. And then the afternoon is more of the administrative portion of my job. So I supervise the nine staff athletic trainers that we have here at Youngstown State, which means I then oversee the 530 student athletes that we have here. So working on the administrative portion and what that looks like for our entire sports medicine department is what my afternoons are, whether it's meetings that are on campus, meetings to develop different policies and procedures, uh, work on developing new um, procedures that we do that encompass the entire athletic department, not just specific to women's lacrosse, but hit every uh, one of our 21 sports that we have here. <laughs> Your calves are gonna be famous. So this is called Instrument Assisted Soft Tissue Mobilization. So I-A-S-T-M for short. It's a, probably in the category of massage is the best way to put it, but what it's able to better do is get in and break up uh, muscle adhesions. Um, so better than I could use with just my hands and I can become more focused in the areas that I'm trying to hit as well. Um, so typically they get immediate relief in feeling looser, um, not so tight, and can help with a lot of pain relief as well. We'll do this a lot before activity as well, just because it helps stimulate blood flow to the area. Ooh, sorry. 
crush up. Sorry, you're hitting your hand up. <laughs> <laughs> we both put ourselves in. Growing up, I always knew that I wanted to get into medicine. I was the oldest of three kids. I was always very good at taking care of my sister and brother. So thought that I wanted to go to med school, uh, but really enjoyed sports and watching sports and being involved in it and was just mediocre enough that I wasn't participating in the sports, but this gave me a realm that I could do both. Um, I've still got that competitive nature, so it's fun to see my patients, my student athletes have success on the field and the things that I can do to help with that. So this profession was perfect for me because it got to combine my two loves of medicine and sports at the same time. If I got to tell 10 year old Jen what life would be like now or what she should look forward to is probably the busyness and the constant activity that I felt like childhood was. And that's what I appreciate about this job. Yeah, it is seven days a week. And yes, sometimes your Christmas day doesn't exactly fall on Christmas day, but that's the fun part of this job is being able to interact with so many people and really feel like you're making a difference in everybody's lives. Providing healthcare is a really important thing and being able to help somebody else be successful is really fun. So um, yeah, it's, it's really outside of the box work and I certainly couldn't be one of those people that works from nine to five. That's not the job or the setting for that matter. So um, getting into all of that portion was really crucial and being able to be a part of it for so long. So even in high school, I did some job shadowing and things like that with the athletic trainer that worked at our high school. So I was hooked right from the get-go. <laughs> what an amazing, exciting, and fun career. Jen gets to use her talents and her understanding of the body and how it moves to ensure her student athletes are performing at their finest. She also has all sorts of cool technology that she uses to ensure that students can recover or maintain those athletic abilities. I'm wondering. 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 Could you see yourself as an athletic trainer working with student athletes and helping them perform at peak levels? I'm also wondering, would you be willing to join us again for another amazing episode of Wonderstem? I'm actually gonna get out on the field, see if I can stop some of those balls.